Uh, congratulations, Graham. Our 1-0 win tonight. What did you make of that game? It was tough. It was a proper test. Um, they pushed us the whole way. If I'm, if I'm honest, I think we're slightly fortunate um, to go through. Uh, given the amount of chances they created by putting the ball into our box, I didn't think we defended those particularly well. But the guys have got a clean sheet, so we must be doing something right. Um, I thought some of our play, um, when we moved the ball properly, was really, really good. I thought at times we were a, a bit slow and a bit lax, and, and particularly in the first half, we were a bit sloppy with the ball. But the team showed they've got a bit of grit, um, they've got a bit of determination, they've got a bit of quality, but we need to be better. Um, and I just said that to the players, I'm, I'm pleased for them, I'm proud of them getting through, I'm proud of them standing up to the test, but they need to be better, they need to be slicker and smoother and understand the game a little bit better. And if they manage to marry that to the, the undoubted talent that they have, then it'll all be to the good, but they need to manage um, their emotions better than we did today. And what was your message to them at half-time going in at 0-0 at that point? We had to be slicker and smoother. We were too lax on the ball. I don't think there was one person in the first half that wasn't guilty of giving the ball away in a really poor situation. Um, and we were a bit self-indulgent, taking too many touches, trying things that weren't really there. When simple and slick football would have would have created good openings and good opportunities. Um, and my last message to the players was that what they did with the ball at their feet wouldn't be what determined the outcome of the game. It was what they did without the ball, the way they were prepared to run, prepared to work, prepared to exploit space um, without the ball for their teammate and also to run back the pitch and, and actually compete with what they were going to do. That was going to dictate whether we got through or not. And I thought in the second half, we were far, far better at both aspects of that. And uh, they kept working hard and got the goal late on? Yeah, um, I credit to Peter, actually. Peter thought, do you know what, we, we need to get a little bit more pace on the team. Um, Serge has got everything in, in terms of pace. He's, he's very, very quick. He's electric. Unfortunately for them, it came from a little bit of an error from their skipper but Serge got himself through there and took the get took the uh, to the goal really really well but we still needed to introduce a little bit of pace because after starting the second half really well I thought we lost control of it a little bit so we needed to make a change um, and he came on had a good impact he's, he's had a hard time in terms of injury and uh, him coming out of the team and trying to get back in the team and hopefully that'll do his confidence the world are good and you mentioned at the very start of this competition that the, the test for them was to get through the first round and that's them into the fourth now you must be proud of how they've done in this competition I am proud and I, I said I think I've said every time we want the challenge to be ramped up I think it was today um, I think you saw that and they've risen to it again um, albeit this is going to sound really harsh I'm, I'm not quite satisfied I, I want them to be better we'd all like them to be, to improve um, and take some of their learnings forward I think you've seen bits and flashes they need to be more consistent and sustain that learning and sustain that development to show actually we can put a complete performance in because if they do that I think they'll be a sight to behold I really do I think they can really scare a few people but there's too many things at the moment that are down to concentration and a little bit of laxity from them that we can we can eliminate I think and if we manage to do that then that'll bode well for them and actually that'll say that our academy programme is is teaching them the right kind of things.